Yeah, all right. Good morning. We're um, in a little creek today. Just doing a bit of um, exploring, really. Oh, we might. Tipper, he loves coming along in the rivers, don't you, mate? Just doing a bit of crevicing at the moment. You can see um, the fall down here. Plenty of little crevices. I'm going to work my way right up here. And still a bit of exploring. I've just cleaned out a little crevice here. Got a little bit of gold. Let me just swap hands. Two good ones there. Really chunky in here. Get out of that light. Doesn't want to focus, does it? See that one? That one, there's a few others in there. It's always a bit of a rubbish one hand pan. I think there's about five or six specks in there. I mean, it's easy to be a lot of time we stick with the main. You know, the main rivers or creeks and these little tributaries we don't even bother with. All the way through here there's a ton of quartz showing. I'll show you as we go up today. Someone's been in here having a little bit of a dig there. It's a big hike down here. And they have got a planned burn next month through here. To clear up it all, so make it a bit easier to get in. We've got a ton of bushfires this summer. It's been super hot, I don't know whether you can... Can't really see all the smoke. A couple of the um, open pit mines, the coal mines, they're about uh, half an hour drive from here. They caught on fire with the bushfires, so we've got some pretty thick smoke lately. So it's not a bad start. I've only been here five minutes. Just I found the the rock was loose, so I just cleaned him out a bit, pulled it out, and cleaned out behind it. And um, I've done all right. You can see that big chunk right there. So as we go on each spot, I'll check back in with you and see how much gold we can get crevicing. Yeah, right, I've gone um, just up that creek a little bit. And this is what I mean here, you can see this quartz, it's full of little stringers there, just about every big rock here has um, I mean, the bottom of that one, right there behind the tipper, they all have quartz running through them, right through here, and I'm just here in this puddle, there's um, two big holes in the bedrock, just one here, and just one there, so I might just clean them out and pan them and see how we go. I mean, you can see there's no shortage of rocks to flip over. You can see just in the bank the old creek beds. There's one level there. Even right through here. You can see this big wash out here. You can see all the different layers. Right through. Especially down around that corner, you can see them layer, layer, layer. So the old timers would have got in here and had a good scratch around. And we've had a hot, hot summer, so this must be spring fed. There's actually two gullies running here. There's one, one up this way, and then there's one over the hill. They all carried gold. It's pretty chunky too. I ended up five specks out of that first pan. Or flakes you'd almost call them. So I'll run a bucket here and we'll see what we get. I wouldn't mind bringing the high banker down here but it's pretty tight quarters. You might be able to set it up and just fill a heap of buckets and run the buckets through. I mean if, it, if it's chunky enough it's worth moving all the rocks. You, know? you get used to um, 
those creeks where you can just shovel gravel all day long but we'll see if the payoff's there I'll clean out these two holes then I'll come back alright we've just um, done the second lot so I'm just sieving down half a bucket in each spot and then just checking it you alright tippy tip? Me? I can't believe uh, it's going to be hard to see how chunky the gold is look, look at this Like you see, um, right there, that's a normal size spec. Look at these ones here. Right. So it's real, I mean, because the quartz reef runs through here, this gold's not travelled far at all. And it's really little, like it's chunky. So, there's definitely decent gold in here. I'm not, I don't know whether it's worth bringing the high bank up down or not but that's not bad for a little amount of material I reckon there might be a chance I'll find a, a decent little chunk to know well, I think I'll move on from this spot I'm just going to keep working my way up see if I can find some deep crevices like the water would run through this but I just cleaned out that hole there the water would be running through there a fair bit when it rains, I might try to find a bit more of a settled spot. Let's see how we go. Yeah. Next spot. I've gone a fair way up, just keeps getting more enclosed, more enclosed and more rocky. So I'm gonna um I think I'm about to flip this big rock and get in underneath it. I saw the sea hands a little bit of gravel. I'll flip that, move this red one, clean it out and we'll see what's underneath. Well, I couldn't um, move that rock. <laughs> so I'll just clean it out underneath it. Can I go past one of these yabby pumps for nooks and crannies? Yeah, they're awesome. And you can do a bucket, you know, it's pretty quick. Good for getting in under rocks. like when the dirt gives the water a little bit of a red tinge, you always get a little bit more gold when you see it. Right, keep them going. I might even be able to get the, uh, this red rock out. So I get a bit of gravel out from underneath it. There we go. Alright, I've just done another half bucket out from all over the unmovable rock. And oh, it's hard to see, isn't it? Let's see, there's about maybe 10 specks. So what I'm going to do, but what it, what there was, you can see, it's a heap of black sand. So I'm going to keep going just for this hole. And get right down as deep as I can. Let's see how we go. It's getting um, pretty hot. I'm not sure how much further up I'll be able to go. So I might give this a good go here, and we'll see. Get any gold from under this rock. Alright, you can see up along the top there. 
All went gone. That was, I've just gone deeper again in that little tiny hole. Alright. This creek's definitely a goer. Can't believe it. And I was trying to think. You can see how bushy it is. I had to get the high bank here and I forgot all about my power sluice, so I might have to um, climb up in the shed and get the old power sluice out. I mean, I hate classifying down, but for this amount of gold, I think they're only little half buckets I've got there. Eleven litre buckets, and I'm only half filling them. I'm getting that sort of gold out of it. So I might bring all my buckets, classify them all, fill them up, and then run the power sluice. It's just the hike in's a killer, but I can hear. I heard a car before. So the main road mustn't be too far from here. We'll have to come right down through the bush to where I get in the bottom, but I'm not sure where the top comes out. But, I love chunky gold. And, oh, that's probably the best view of it there. And that's, wouldn't be ten minutes with that pump. Five minutes. Uh, we'll see how we go. This might be the end of a video. I might come back tomorrow with the power sluice and do a bit more. But, doesn't hurt to do the research, check your maps, check your history, and then come out and find these little gullies. They'll all be named on your maps where the old times got gold out of them. And this time of year, everyone's got no, like, there's no water anyway, so if you can find these little ones, like you can see, there's a fair bit of water running through here. These little spring fed ones. And it's amazing, like you can see, yeah, every single rock running through here has quartz in it in some way. Alright, let's see if we can get out of here. Tip is full on lizards, aren't you, mate? Until next time.